Hey there, welcome back to the Planetary Engineering YouTube channel. Today we're going to dive into using AI to program our CNC machine. For the comparison, we're going to use a identical file, one for testing and one's going to be for the baseline. The baseline file already has the NC paths generated by a human programmer and the testing one here will have all the NC paths generated by Cam Assist. Please note that Cam Assist is a 14-day trial for Fusion 360 that I downloaded as an add-on. So let's have a look at Cam Assist. For my machines, I always have a current ATC list. This allows me to use all the current tools in the machine to avoid setting up different tools. This particular part is aluminum, so the default setting is, is good, and the current machine is not correct. We will be machining this in a three-axis setup, and our target setup is face one inch here. If I had additional setups defined, we'd see the box down here where I'd be able to check different boxes. For tool usage, it's using the library, tool library, um, current ATC list. And through here, it has settings for the individual tools that I have in my library, including the allowable paths that it can choose in order to machine a part. As this is a 14 day trial, I'm not going to dig too deep into the different operations under advanced. And with probing, I'm simply going to hit datum probing. With all those things considered, let's go back to the general tab. I'm going to move a clock onto our screen so we can use the magic of video editing in order to see how long this actually takes to generate. Fast forwarding now. After about two and a half minutes, it has decided that it's going to take 13 operations to machine this part. After it is determined the machining operations, then it has to generate the different operations, as you can see here. We no longer need our stopwatch, so let's get rid of that. Now that it's done generating the paths, Let's use the metric of machining time to compare it to what a human would do versus what the computer has chosen to do. I'm going to go to manufacturing on the baseline and we will look at machining time here. For the human programmed one, we have one hour and basically 11 minutes. On the AI side of things, we have two hours and basically 26 I'm sorry, 28 minutes. In this scenario, on this part, the human competitor was the clear winner on cycle time. However, if the part was a production part, then cycle time is going to be very, very important. If this were a one-off part, the amount of time it took to get the human part down to an hour and 10 minutes was significantly longer than the three and a half minutes that it took for this to generate and generate the tool paths. As with everything, there's always going to be a plus side and a downside to things. If you have individual parts that you need made and you don't have three hours to sit and program, this certainly would be a much faster process. Moving on past the machining time, let's take a look at the tool paths. The AI has chosen to do a facing operation as well as an adaptive roughing operation. That's very similar to what we see here in the human file. Facing and then eventually adaptive roughing. One of the major differences between the two is the human pre-drilled these holes out prior to going in and doing any of the roughing. 
this could be considered a tribal knowledge thing or just a learned experience thing. The next thing we can note is the amount of tool changes that the human programmer made versus the AI programmer. The AI switches a lot between individual tools for the roughing process, whereas the human programmer tries to limit the tool changes to one time per tool being used. It isn't really reasonable to compare AI to human programmer. AI is still a developing technology, whereas in this particular case, the programmer has been doing this for many, many years. Now, we should also consider that this add-on isn't CAM programming, it's CAM Assist. Does this AI software help assist our programming? Well, yes, yes it does. In summary, my opinion is yes, CAM Assist does work. It can assist you in your NC programming. Cam Assist will not be replacing your CNC programmer anytime soon. It can be useful to them to save time, and it could also be useful for hobbyists using it as a tool to learn the proper way of processing a part. And big thank you to Cam Assist for allowing people to have a 14-day trial to try this add-on.